Hi everybody, welcome back. Feed the Beast with me, Sid. Um, been doing a little few bits. Let me just get my uh, viewpoint back to where we can see what we're doing. A few little bits and pieces being done around the place. I've um, got a, quite a few jobs to do, so let's go and just have a peek at what we've done. We've uh, stuck some of these Zycorium soils, um, panelled them off there. Let me give us a little corn on the cob crop there. Not a lot going on really beyond that. Um, got our ultimate solar panel and a whole load of advance now. I made a cock up with these things. If I uh, go in and just get in my ultimate solar panel, I assumed that this recipe to make the ultimate was from the hybrid. Um, so I built hybrids, eight of them. Unfortunately, that recipe works from the advanced. And this is a recipe you use to make the ultimate out of the hybrids. So I've done that, because that was fairly straightforward, just wrapping around the thing. Built some more advanced solar panels. And pulled together the resources to make another one of those. I've actually got the resources to make two, but I've just done the one so far. Um, so we're going to upgrade that this uh, episode. Um, what else have we done? We have stripped out those engines and replaced them with this um, energy bridge which is taking IC2 power, changing it into Billcraft power and feeding that through into the redstone energy cell. Um, and I've still got that should we need to do anything with it. Oh, more, more, more. Um, completely changed the farm arrangement because I wasn't happy with that. So this farm now is just doing potatoes. Um, it's completely unmanaged, 92 stacks. Left the rest of the chests in there. Used my gravity gun to pull this one out, but apart from that, nothing much else. What was the uh, fertilizer like in there? 16, it'll be all right. It doesn't go through. This one is now a managed rubber plantation. Um, so we're never gonna be short of rubber again, which means that I was also able to cover them up. And this bit here is my preparation for a different kind of farm, which is the mine factory reloaded farms, which is going to be a nether wart farm. So we're gonna build that today as well. Now, on the blaze spawner side, that's working absolutely fine and Apologise for the noise of these guys, they are quite noisy. We've now got a full tank, 2400 2, buckets of monster essence, so we need to start using that. Blaze rod production is pretty good. Um, these are full and not necessarily drawing any power, so what I've done is I've taken these out. There's a timer here which pulls the blade rods out, fills these up, and these generate power just off the blaze rods as I'm required. That's been linked back into the network. So we're going to build some stuff in there. And finally, I've added a little extension out here. I'll wait for the chunks to load. Because oh, I need to put some steps in there. I haven't done that yet. Um, I've started trying to get into bees. Well, not so much bees as such. I'm just running standard forest bees. Um, I'm not trying to crossbreed those at all at the moment. Um, mainly because I can't be bothered when they uh, screw up on the biomes and they don't like the one they're in. So at least with these guys I always know they're going to work. But I have been doing tree breeding out off of the... oh god. off of these guys. Um, and I've managed to get us up all the way to the balsa line. We've got the... Um, oh what's that one? Teak? Um, silver lime um, and the cherry. So yeah, so we'll be continuing to do that. So today if we get a chance, the other thing I want to do is to try and automate the repopulation of these apiaries, um, which I've built a section underneath where we can do all the work and also I suspect those balsas may be too tall for the bees to get to so we'll uh, need to bring those down. Okay, <coughs> pardon me. 
The um, problem I was running into was I've... Oh, the other thing I've done, which I forgot to mention, was down here where we put the mass fab, which has been running on and off pretty much. It's actually off at the moment, but we've we generated about 50 odd stacks of UU matter so far. Um, using Monozit we've been getting thorium to power that. But I have also built a implosion compressor, which is a multi-block structure, and an industrial grinder, which is how we've been getting the thorium. So I'm not sure whether I actually showed the mass fab down here actually. So but yeah, we set this up block breakers, that's on a little clock. Um, which I can turn that off actually because there's not that's not running. That feeds the scrap into here, scrap down into mass fab, so on and so forth. Um, and underneath here we've got a whole load of wiring. I've colour coded the cables just to stop them crossing. So this is H um, 512 EU. The orange is 120 EU. The green is 32 EU. I think off the top of my head. So uh, yeah, the, these things can't contact each other because they're different colours using uh, painters, which I've had to build some more, so I've gone through them fairly quickly. Run another quarry in the Twilight Forest, got an absolute bucket load of ores to process, but it's not high priority because I have an absolute bucket load of ingots. I've got more iron than I know what to do with, more tin than I know what to do with, gold, I've already converted um, four stacks of those into a stack of diamonds, uh, not enough copper ever as always, and loads of other things. I've started also converting the silver, I put it into blocks because I was running out of space in that chest. Did similar in the redstone chest, that was uh, running out of space, so I've made redstone blocks to just free up some storage. Yep, so been fairly busy, nothing left in the unsorted, got all sorts of bits and pieces now floating around in here. So the first thing I want to make, let's go into here, I'm storing my recipes in these to build bags, because they're just absolutely cool. Uh, let's see, what's that one? This is for the Ujima Flobs, the Nether Thing Farm, Nether Ward Farm, so... Let's go and get the recipes out for this one. Now this is a, get this right, that is a harvester. So if I jump in here and pop that in, it's just plastic sheets, plastics made from rubber, smelting rubber, and then you craft it into sheets. She is a golden axe, and the factory block, which is uh, three stone and three of those, arranged like that, gives us a harvester. So that's my harvester. And this one is the planter. Now this particular beastie lives underneath the farm. In his default configuration he will only do a 3x3 three three area, which is why I've built it that big. So we'll get him out. And again, just a couple of plant pops and a, pi plant po and a piston to push the um, plants up. And that gives us a planter. So we can stick that back out of the way. Now the other things we've got to do on the to builds are a ultimate hybrid and this is an auto enchanter but we'll come back to that once we've wired all these bits in. So what's the time? Is it is, no, I think we've probably got time to fit this in before the mobs come and to be honest they're no big not a big threat anyway. What I didn't do of course was bring any nether wart. Derp. Okay, let's, uh, let's go down and grab some nether wart. Da -da -da, nether, nether, nether stuff. Nether blocks, no organic. Nether wart. Not a huge amount of it, but enough. So, yep, little. I think we'll go and see whether it's time to sleep and start the day afresh. Um been putting various bits up in these chests up here as well. These are the storage little storage chests are, are great from Bibliocraft. Okay, so And it's another fine morning off we go. Let's go and get this Netherwall farm plumbed in and working. It's not the fastest crop to grow, so we can just zoom over here and scoot down. 
So I've plumbed all the wiring in, I've plumbed the piping in. Um, this, uh, top of my head, doesn't require a redstone engine, and I think I may have put that one, one too low down. Okay, let's get the planter in anyway. So that goes in. There's the planter, it's got power, um, it's got no work to do, so we'll stick in nether wart, and that should now have already planted up above, which it has. Now, let me just... Yeah, that needs to come up one, I think. i better go back and get another redstone energy conduit then. There's always something. doesn't matter what it is. You do it. But without this jetpack, it'd be infuriating. Okay. Uh, conduits. That's in wires. Uh, da -da. Redstone conduit. Just need... I'll take those with me, actually, because I'm going to need them when I do the auto-enchanter anyway. Although I'm going to need pipes and stuff as well. So... Okay. And... Finally, in we go, and let's see, redstone conduit to here, and then harvester there. So that is waiting for these to grow, it's not programmed to do anything, funny you can turn those on. These areas allow you to add upgrades which increase the harvest area, but for what I'm wanting to do here I don't think oh, that's necessary. We could just leave that running and eventually that chest will fill up and obviously we'll have to manually restock that. I did experiment with automatically restocking but it really didn't work out very well. Okay, so the next thing I need is, uh, where's my rucksack? I need my universal wrench and let's have that out. Okay, now... I don't need that anymore, so we can pop that back away. I think I've showed you guys a tape measure on a previous one, so this is my little rucksack which I just keep useful. Bits and pieces always handy to I'm always forgetting levers for example, so carrying a stick and cobble is just handy and this thing just makes it handy. This particular bag I just use for sticky oars in if I'm going to manually mining. Okay. Where are we? We're doing that bag now. So we need that. Uh, the recipe is that with those in the middle, and we also want this out, which is my auto enchanting table. Do, 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 do. So we can pop that back. Don't need that anymore. Uh, I'll just stick those in there ready for the next episode when I've figured out what the hell I'm going to be doing. Um, this thing, these are basically fairly straightforward. Compressed coal, coal ball is uh, flint surrounded by dust. You make those, around, uh, obsidian with those you get a coal chunk. And if you were to compress that we could actually compress that to a diamond. These are a bit more expensive. The enriched scenarium, well that's fairly straightforward, lots of uranium and UU matter and glowstone. This thing here, expensive. Sonarium, same thing. Iridium plate, four iridium, four advanced alloys, diamond dust, and obviously sixteen of those to make that. So this is a fairly expensive upgrade. Probably in fact almost certainly the uh, comparable to the process of doing eight hybrids. So let's pop that into the crafting grid and get that um, underway. So one ultimate hybrid array. Now this is pretty straightforward. Just whacking all of those in. Uh, 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 and one auto enchanter. So I'm going to need those conduits. I'm also going to need a redstone engine, which should be in machines. Redstone engine. Um, I may have some levers kicking around if I haven't 
Just check down here. Levers, levers, levers. Levers. No. Oh well, I'll make one. Hardly a hardship, is it? Uh, oh, lever. <laughs> In front of my face. eyes there. So we've got the lever, we've got the redstone engine, we want a wooden waterproof pipe and we'll have some have I got any stone waterproof? I'm going to cobblestone waterproof. That should be more than ample. Um, and then we'll go upstairs and just grab some books because we're going to use the enchanting table to enchant books rather than items. 31 of those. Any chests? Take a chest with me, store them in down there as well. Mm -mm. Let's go. I can take those as well. That'll give me plenty. And we'll take an iron chest. will be fine. Okay. So, off to the blaze facility. Let's use up some of this green gunk. Oh, God, they're so damn noisy. So, if we go and stick this in here with a redstone engine above it and a lever, turn that on, that can be starting and then we'll have the auto enchanting table there and we should see that that starts filling up. Now we can alter the level so we can say what level enchants we want. Um, as it happens I want a level 30 Stick a book in, and what we should see is, once this has got, ah, ah, of course forgetting myself, energy, the reason I brought those conduits, take that across here, I may pop this out and bury it, um, Okay, so with energy in, yeah, we've got energy going in. You can see the work is ticking down there. That's going to take a short while because it needs more essence than can reliably fit in here. Um, and that's it. That's the auto enchanting table. Now, in theory, I should be able to automate this, and it's something I'm going to look at. However, there is a known glitch with this, and that is that. If a stack of books goes in there, it will only register one and it can actually cause the server to crash. So I can't afford to have more than one book in that slot. So I'm going to look at a way to detect when a book comes out to put one in and completely automate it. The other thing, of course, is how to store all those books because once they're enchanted, they don't stack. Um, how much work is there left? We're going to be a while on that. Let's go and... Uh, just place this chest there and we'll leave those books in it. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to do today, apart from replace that hybrid which I just noticed sat in my inventory, was um, try and automate this B process somewhat. So stick the hybrid down, bang. So that gives us even more power. Um, should hopefully get another one of those done very shortly. Um, so B process, redstone engines, chests, pipes I think. Uh, now how many redstone engines have I got? Is three going to be enough? Possibly. I don't know. No, probably not actually. I'm going to need more I would imagine. Um, to do pipes, cobble, stone, wooden. Don't need those, don't need those. Anything else? Lever? Have some levers and probably a buffer chest of some description. Um, an iron one again should be sufficient because the drones stack and the queens don't, princesses don't Staying long enough. Oh, going to sleep. But while we're doing that, we'll make the redstone engines. I'll make a batch of those. 
Now redstone engines refresh my memory because it's a while since I've actually made any wooden cogs. Make a stack of those. Or stacks worth. Um, in fact, I'm going to have to remove things. I think it's a piston, glass, and wood off the top of my head. Piston, glass, and wood. Yep. Okay, so we need some pistons. Have we got any already made? Probably not. No, nope. so let's have a look. Redstone, cobblestone, uh, iron. those back into the uh, sorting system. Just let that do the work. Don't want that. Don't want those. Do want those. Don't want that. Don't want that. Don't want that. Suppose I better go and uh, sleep the mobs off. Although judging by the radar there's not many or they haven't really had time to spawn so that's always good news. Now, if I remember rightly, you pump into the side. No, you don't. You pump into the bottom and out of the side. That's right. It's a while since I did this, so... So, if I go... down here... Pump out of the side. I desire I've got this the wrong way around. Because that's the sod's law, of course. Mm, just thinking this through. Duh. I'm going to I'll stagger the stagger these so that on different sides thinking about my piping underneath stone engine like that and like that then like that like that and like that with a lever on the back of each be those, so if I go now down below looking at where these holes are, we've got one two three I'm no 
only not using the drill because it's too efficient when it comes to soil. Uh, okay, so cobblestone transport pipe, stone transport pipe. So if we bring the out down, one, two, three, four, five. iron as well aren't I? Uh, these ones probably want to be iron because that's going to come like that and snake along I'll whiz back and grab some iron in a minute in an iron transport pipe in a minute and then that's going to come down here into the buffer chest and then we're going to have another wooden transport pipe coming out. And then we've got stone transport pipes. Oh, they, yeah, they shouldn't have connected to anything. Mm, I may need to move that one further down as well. Because they're going to have to be iron. Stick these in just as placeholders for now. And what I will probably do is also loop this, this round. So if anything, if it does overflow. That's not the end of the world, it's only drones after all. These should go in okay. Right, so I do need to bring this back one. So let's have that out. Bring that there. again chest cobble this is probably going to go horrendously wrong just know how these things work especially when I get and do them um, right so the next thing I need is the iron transport pipes We'll just whiz over and get. In fact, we'll just go and check on the enchantment table, see what we've uh, got out of that. Oh. Oops. Okay, well, there's Mason on. Um, let's have a look. What do we get? Protection 3. Whoopie do. Let's tilt can be combined on an anvil, so that's not a problem. What time are we at? We're okay. So I just need those iron transport pipes. <laughs> uh, that's what you built it for. Right, iron transport pipes. Uh, come on. Oh, I don't think I've got enough glass. Glass, 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 glass. Okay. Uh, and iron. Let's make some more. Is it that way around? No, it's not. Of course it's not. It's that way around. So I'll have a couple of blocks of those. Can't believe he's keeping the cobble. I've really got to the point now where 
Um, piping sorted and tested out. Okay, um, so that one wants to be iron. I'll have to go back with the Omni wrench and set those up. That's right. And that, that's not bloody right, white. Why is that not changing? Do I have to move this again? English. Just remove some then. Um, okay, so I need to move the chest along one or more. I need more cobble. And uh, I need my wooden transport pipe. There, stone transport pipe. There, crescent. I mean, omni wrench. That that's now right. And my stone transport pipe here. Now, where did else did I say I needed them? I needed here. Oh crap! That's going to connect up to that then, though, isn't it? <laughs> Um, this isn't going to work the way I intended, is it? No, it's not. Ah, maybe... It no, because those will still try and go that way. Oh, God. Right, I need to rethink this somewhat. Um, I think the answer is, unfortunately... Oh, uh, it's night time. I'm not going out now. Okay. And hopefully, yeah. Now, if I go and stick my dirt back there and take this one out, cobble. vision of a creeper dropping through on top of me but it shouldn't be able to spawn there so hopefully that vision won't come true okay that is dirt oh we don't need to worry about that one in fact, I don't need to worry about that at all. That can just come straight down. Um, I'll check the wiki. 
Okay, and last but last not least. Okay, and then we can get the irons in. Right. Oh, not quite. Jumping ahead of myself there. Okay, and... Plastone. Iron. Iron. That's alright, that's fine. So that is basically like that. Same again. Like I say, I've got a horrible feeling that I'm going to wire these up. And the input output is from this. Sorry, the input is from the side and the output is from the bottom. In which case, I'll probably just give up doing bees again entirely. Uh, right, where's my hoofer doofer? Redstone engine, lever, so we can switch that on. Now I think I'm going to uh, run back, to, well fly back to the house and sleep if, uh, if Mason's up for it. Well that sounded wrong actually, so <laughs> I mean, yeah, you know what I mean. I hope you know what I mean. Let's see. Oh. You're too much of a perfectionist. Oh, no, oh well. Right, let's go and try this out and just eliminate anybody who's lurking around my uh, door there. And I'm fairly certain that um, is done with. Let's go and see who's lurking around my bees, if anybody. Look. Looks like we're clear. Okay, let's uh, let's turn this sucker on then. Ah, I need to put. Yeah, uh, there is something I forgot to do. Okay, let me just stop that quickly. That'll go down into the. I need to go and stop that engine before it starts putting combs into the uh, system. I need a diamond pipe and a second chest. Knew I'd forgotten something, I just knew it. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I knew it. And if I haven't mentioned it before, I knew it. Right, um, another iron chest. Diamond pipes. Chunk. Oh, I want one of those. In fact, I think I'm done with that. I'm definitely done with the iron. Take the stone. Uh, the rest can go in the sorting system later. Or now, even. Yeah, no. That can go, that can go. That can go. Actually, that can go as well. Okay. Let's try and get this finished today. I don't want this to go on any longer than absolutely necessary. So what we need here is a diamond pipe and then we need to go with some stone stick that in there and on the yellow we're going to say take that we'll have that lot and stick it in oh. that's alright, it's one, one B, I can live with one B
Um, yeah. So you can go into th that chest, turn that one back on. That should be right. Bees down. Oh, honeycomb out. At some point I can automate the squeezing of that and processing of the honey as well. Didn't bring any steps down with me while I was at it, did I? Oh, I didn't turn that one off. That's probably why we're seeing stuff coming down. So, with a bit of luck. Certainly seems to have got the right inputs and outputs. So what we should see is these f queens and drones should come out. We should eventually see a queen and drone come in. And these pipes, these, system, these should become should become self-sustaining. So, uh, bum. <laughs> and I did do something wrong with those. So, crescent, um, omni wrench. In fact, I've done. That one's all right. That's going the right way. It's this one that's wrong. Is that right? No. Oh God. So it can go in there. Are they all going to go up? Have oh, I screwed up the piping here? Yeah, that's right. Let's try it like that. See what we get. That's not right. Hmm. We're going to turn this off for a short while. Let that empty those, and I think I'm going to have to re examine this. this. I'm doing something wrong, but I can't think for the life of me what the hell it is. That's the out. Anything can we can go in, but not go that way. So that would be th can come in, but not go. So that. Hmm. I think I'm over engineering this. I don't think I needed those there at all. I think we just needed these. We only need them on the top. Now there is a danger that the Queens will. Uh, that, is a t that is a problem, isn't it? Let's turn that off again. <laughs> oh. Remember. Um, do I need. Oh, God. There must be a way. To ensure that the princesses get back up, uh, princesses don't go pop. Because if there's a queen in the slot, then she's that's just going to drop out. Okay, I'm going to have to leave this off. Call off. Just take a break here and go and have a think about this. Be back shortly. Okay. Well, I think I've come up with a design that will work. Um. Proof of the pudding will be in the eating, as they say. Now the question is, what happens if two of these princesses go up into the same apiary? There's one princess going up. No, that's two. Uh, it's still not working. Crap. 
Oh, there's the, that is going to. Pretty certain that will have popped out. Let's come up here and have. Yep, yeah, there she is. Now we've got a forest queen. Um, and another forest queen. Don't know why we got another, oh, why we got two. Uh, God. Okay. Well, I don't think I'm going to solve this in a hurry. They're looping round, which is fine. Turn that off. I'll stick those forest queens back in there for the time being. Forest princesses back in there for the time being. Um, I'll just check I've not lost any because. The problem with the bees is, of course, you get plenty of drones, but you only ever get one princess per run, so to speak. So what I can't afford to do is lose any. See, that one didn't get one. That one didn't get one. That one did. Didn't. So I should have four forest princesses down there in the system. I'm not going to... Oh, she's coming back. Oh, she's going around again. So she'll either end up popping up. And I need to work out a piping system to get these in. I wonder if the pneumatic pipes would be a better delivery. Hmm. I think I'm going to... Uh, yeah, because she's going to pop out again. Pneumatic pipes, pneumatic pipes may be the answer. Anyway, we've caught that one, so we've not lost any of our princesses. So, I think that's probably enough for one episode. I'm going to uh, review this uh, pipe logic, never my strongest point, but I'm going to give this a quick review. And, uh, yeah, I think if we use a transposer or filter there to pull the queen the divide queens out on demand when they're empty they should be a pulse and that would send it up and in without any poppage this pipe's fine that's doing the job exactly as intended so yep okay well i'm going to call it a day at that and that's enough from me um see you next time thanks bye